ladies and gentlemen, to another installment of What's in the Box tonight. Guys, we are checking out a new box, at least new for this series. Tonight, we're taking a look at this month's Super Geek Box. Yes, um, I actually found out about this box uh, because of someone I'm subbed to, and that is an awesome YouTuber by the name of Guru Larry. Please, guys, swing on over to his channel, check out everything he's got. They actually sent him a couple of the boxes, and what I saw in there looked really promising, especially since Super Geek Box is uh, a more budget, budget, you know, friendly box. It actually is a little bit cheaper than, say, like Loot Crater, Geek Fuel, or any of the others out there. It actually is, uh, I, I would say it's sort of around the uh, price range of, say, stuff like 1UP Box. So, you know, that actually is pretty cool. I do know that the theme to this box, the theme to this one's Super Geek Box is Warriors, and one of the items inside is going to be a Street Fighter item, which, okay, that is sort of cool. Street Fighter's not exactly a franchise I'm really a huge fan of, but it, but, I mean, it is still a franchise I can sometimes get, you know, into. Let me get the tape cut here. All right, let's see if I can get the knife in there. Yeah, because this side, there we go. For some reason, they had a piece of tape on this side, made it very difficult, very difficult to cut. All right, I should also mention, as you can tell, the box is incredibly small. So what do we got here? Okay, uh, <laughs> so we are going to start with the Street Fighter item because it's actually the first thing on top. This box is actually incredibly, incredibly loaded for such a tiny little box. That is really cool. And it's a Street Fighter Ryu, Elo, it's a Street Fighter Ryu LED torch, and it's a torch with a friggin' sound on it, Hadoken sound. Uh, torch, of course, this is probably like what? This is like an English item? Yes, it is. Why? Because we don't call it a torch in the U.S. We call it a flashlight. Why? Because a torch is a stick with fire, with fucking fire on the end. Uh, my friends are going to get that. I have a whole lot of English friends. We argue over whether or not to call it a torch or a flashlight. Well, I finally have a product which actually calls it a torch. Now, let's hear the sound. Oh, that is cool. Oh, and, uh... It just basically flashes. That is sort of cool. And I, and I do kind of like how it's like a pixel art Ryu. That is really cool. I actually had to pull the tab off of the back in order to get the sound to work. You know, that is really, really cool. It's not exactly something that I personally would use, but I do know a lot of people who are big fans of Street Fighter. One of them is bound to really want this thing on their keys, specifically then so they can just do this all fucking day. That is really cool. Let me set that off to the side. Our next thing up, now this is another franchise I'm not a big, big fan of, but I do know a lot of people are into it, and that is Zelda. This is a very high quality uh, Zelda, you know, patch. In fact, uh, let me see if I can get it out of the bag. Actually, no, I think I'm going to keep it in the bag, yeah. But yeah, guys, this thing here is a very high quality cloth patch that you basically would have to like uh, stitch on to say you know like a jacket or a shirt or something and you know what even though I'm not a huge fan of Zelda this thing does look incredibly cool this thing here is a very high high quality patch I am just absolutely digging that this sucker is also going to probably go to someone else I know I know a lot of people are real big Zelda fans and some of them will probably find something that they can stitch that thing onto so our next item we have um we have an we have an Avengers Assemble. Yeah, a lot of this stuff seem oh yeah, never mind. This one here actually is from Florida. But anyway, it is an Avengers Thor plush. And I'm gonna tell you guys, this thing here it's a little bit of a cheaper it it, it actually kind of like a cheaper like feeling plushie. Yeah, I've actually I actually have uh, seen a lot of these out there. Uh, but this thing here, it's kind of sort of a cheapy one. It really didn't have a whole lot of like filling in it. Uh, but it but it honestly does look it really, it really does look cool. I'm probably going to go and, like, put it on a shelf, you know, somewhere. It definitely looks awesome. That is great. Oh, boy, guys, and now I'm having a little bit of a flashback. Do you guys happen to remember when I, uh, when I did that one episode involving, involving 1UP Box? Yeah, we've got the Zelda Mints again. Yep, Zelda Mints says it right on the back. You know what? It actually has been a while since I had these. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I actually happen to remember the Mints being, like, ridiculously weak. But hey, who knows, guys? Perhaps, honestly, maybe that was just a bad batch of mints. So I'm going to grab a few. Gonna, I've got about three of them here. Let's just see. Let's just see if they fix this any. Again, I still don't know if these are mints you suck on or ones that you just chew. So I'm just going to just I'm just going to say fuck it and chew them. Nope, the mint is still. Well, actually, no. 
at least the mint in this one is a little bit stronger than the Zelda mints we got in that friggin' god-awful 1-Up box. But it's still kind of weak compared to a lot of the other mint mint products I've had. That honestly is not too bad, though. Our next item is... Uh, okay. Again, guys, this actually is a franchise I'm not, I'm not re real big on, but this is awesome. It is a Dragon Ball, actual Dragon Ball, stress ball. <laughs> All right, I just need another six and then I can conjure a dragon. That's really, really cool. Again, guys, I am not exactly a big, big fan of Dragon Ball, but I have always thought that I have always thought that the actual Dragon Balls looked really cool. The fact that I've got one now that is a stress ball is really cool. Doesn't help that when I squeeze it. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. You can hear all the air getting forced out every single time I squeeze it. That is kind of weird. But this is still really cool. I am totally, totally digging that. I am going to set that aside somewhere. Hopefully I won't miss fucking place it the way I misplaced the last, you know, stress ball that came in one of these boxes. All right. Up next is the shirt, which uh, the shirt I know is not going to fit me. And, uh, okay, I'm going, I'm going to upset a lot of people here because... Even though a lot of this stuff has been franchises I just don't care for, this thing here is based on something I actively cannot stand. It's a Final Fantasy VII shirt. would probably be better if it was anything but Final Fantasy VII. So, uh, yeah, the shirt fucking sucks. I'm not even going to pretend I'm that new. But still, the shirt actually was still of a high quality. It's a pity that it will never fit me because they don't make them big enough for me in this in this box line. I'm not going to complain about that too much. Um, and I know that a lot of people are really are really into Final Fantasy VII. I unfortunately am not one of those people. So that shirt I'll probably try to find somebody who really wants it and I'll just give it to them. Either that or else I'll just shred it and I'll use it as a fucking rag somewhere. Who knows? Finally, oh no wait wait we got something else here. Okay, so here's, uh, actually no, why don't we cover this first, because I pulled this out. What is this? This is the Spirit of War Temporary Tattoo. Basically, guys, it's a temporary tattoo. Really big, really big fucking temporary tat, man. This sucker is massive. So, yeah, um, I don't normally do temporary tats, but... You know, again, I know a lot of people who might. I can probably give this out to one of them. Because, uh, you know, I could probably put the damn thing on, like, on like my arm. And it actually has a really cool, cool pattern and all. It's like, if I really wanted to, I could probably go to a tattoo artist and go, you see this? I want this, like, right here. And they would probably do it. I would also have to get over my dis my disturbing fear, fear of needles in order for that to actually work. But that is, but that is certainly cool. All right, so what do we got here in this little thing here? So... What were all the things that we could possibly get? So, we have... Alright, well, that is something that is worth freaking knowing. Alright, so, uh, out of everything that we could have gotten. So, this thing here, we could have either gotten this in Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk, or Thor. I'm very happy that I got it in Thor. Would probably have been just a touch happier if I got, if I, if I got, the, if I got the Captain America one. But I'm not going to... I'm not going to, you know, worry about that too much. Let's see what else we got in here. See now, the patch was just a, you know, like one of a kind thing. Everybody got that. Everybody also got one of these. Uh, and funny thing, the uh, fucking Dragon Ball stress ball here. Uh, yeah, they actually do make all seven Dragon Balls like this. So. I Sorry about that, guys. I kind of sort of had to step away for a sec. My uh, phone fucking went off. Was not exactly fun. So anyway, back on to what I was saying. They actually make... They actually make all seven... Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm just dropping the sucker everywhere now. They do make all seven Dragon Balls in this uh, stress ball form. I may have to go to... Uh, I'm wondering if they actually give us like a site to get these from. Well, I will just have to look up the uh, company name which is, which is in this thing and get all seven, and then I'll probably put them up somewhere as kind of sort of like a like decorative thing. This thing is really cool. Uh, let's see, is there anything else in here that would have been... Oh, and the uh, Final Fantasy VII shirt. They actually have two separate shirts. That one over there just simply... Now, that one over there, it said freaking like Vengeance on the side. The other one just simply says Warrior. But it's the exact same shirt, so really it doesn't much matter. Honestly, guys, when all is said and done, uh, is this thing is this thing a good deal? Uh, yes, it is. I can totally say that when it comes to budget boxes, this sucker is awesome. 
It really is. I am just absolutely digging it, especially since, you know, we got this sucker right here. Yes, guys, I'm going to continue to play with this thing until I fucking give it to somebody. Because that is just cool. Anyway, I'm going to stop pushing that fucking button. So we have that. We have, uh, and, and of course we have the Dragon Ball Stress, you know, ball. And that is really cool. We have, and we have the, and we have the Thor plushie again. Would have been a little, I would have been a bit happier with, you know, Captain America. But Thor also is really awesome. And we had the temporary tat. We have, uh, guys, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. This thing is fucking gorgeous. This fucking, you know, like Zelda, you know, patch. This sucker is awesome. Anyway, um... So, so would I recommend you guys go out and buy your own geek super, go out and buy your own super geek box plan? Definitely. This sucker here, guys, is a fantastic deal, and everything that came in it was certainly, was certain, was certainly of high, was certainly of high quality, and even though I didn't care for, didn't care for the shirt, everything else here is amazing. So yeah, guys, I can definitely recommend you go out and you pick and you pick up this and you pick and you pick up a plan for this box. It really is some cool, cool shit. Anyway, guys, with that, we come to the close of another installment of What's in the Box. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, take care, and I will see you all in the near future. Peace.